Little update, sunny day in the yurt. Um, trying to show a picture of the Yoensu Marketplace webcam. There I wrote yesterday with a broom. Stop. Trying to, yeah, once again, or still, or as usual, um, share the potential and benefits of the stop tool. Um, this morning I was thinking, like, what would I answer if somebody would ask me, so how to save our economy? Hmm, how to save our economy? Well, my first initial thought would be, yes, yeah, certainly not by putting any more money into it. Um, but I think it's better to ask first, why? Why would we want to do that? Why would we want to save our economy? Um, like when we look at our economy, we have to acknowledge that there is a lot of winners. And when we are on the winning side, for sure, we want to save the economy. But when we see the suffering that this way of, um, I don't know, doing business is causing, then we should really wonder, is it maybe better not to put too much effort into saving the economy? Our economy is very flawed. Um, we know that basically most um, or, or all corruption is, is connected to the economies. Um, we know that capitalism is um, the main flaw in our democracy. And in a time where we value money more than nature and, and also people more than nature, I think it's not correct to focus on saving the economy first of all. So what can we do? What can we do? Well, if we don't know what to do, once again, stop. Stop what we're doing. Um, not doing business as usual is a very good start. I'm very happy that a lot of businesses are closed now and that also um, the internet shopping or, or internet consumption has been reduced to more or less need to have basis. And I think that is an opportunity that we have to understand and make best use of. Something that I'm curious about is to see if we can do that. If we manage to under if we manage to get a hold of our situation, manage to understand that going back is not an option. It's not an option. It, it's also not possible. It's not even possible to go back to the Stone Age, no matter how wonderful that might be. Um, for, from some people's perspective. At least according to human nature, this is what we should do. This is where we come from. This is who we are. And it still provides a very good guideline um, also who we are and what we are here for, maybe. Uh, what we are capable of. Saving the economy with money, it will just blow it more up. Um, Money is invented by humans. It's a, it's a story that we created, that we agree upon. And it's a concept that doesn't really exist anywhere else in nature. So we are just feeding this suicide bubble with putting more money into it. I see that a lot of people suffer in the moment, especially small business owners or people who cannot pay rent or people who don't receive rent now. Um, but... Interestingly, that's becoming a common problem. It used to be that we would be really worried and stressed if we realized at the end of the month that we don't have enough money left to pay uh, rent or something else. But now it's a common phenomenon. We're not the only ones who cannot do this. There are many people who can't do this. And we just need to, um, yeah, I think, accept the situation that this is how things are now. And I think that's a very good one because it shows us that economy has flaws. And what I find, once again, very, very interesting is that suddenly we have money to save something that we believe in. I don't know why we believe in economy. Um, it To me, it's just a sign how much we are disconnected from the rest of the natural world that we believe in such stories. But... You know, when, when the Cathedral of Notre Dame was burning, suddenly there were billions available. 
um, to to rebuild it. Now, when when the airlines are suffering or when uh, small businesses are suffering, suddenly there is a lot of money available. But just some time ago, it was not possible to find these amounts of money to find uh, to to save ecosystems or even to um, to to help refugees um, like other people, other members of our own species. So we are pretty, pretty selfish, especially here, and privileged, of course, also in this Western world that we are living in, um, or that we here are living in. And yeah, I'm hoping that we use this opportunity now to actually create a new story and grow our own food and take care of each other and include other species as much as possible into this. It's, it's the best opportunity I can imagine to get nature connection on the balcony, by the window, um, or even inside of yourself. The best situation I can imagine to reconnect, to reduce, to rethink and repurpose, repair, recycle, and best opportunity to share. So everything that we need for a faster transition has been implemented due to Corona. And as we should always be in any survival situation, starting with gratitude, I'm very grateful for this situation because of the opportunity it provides. Also from the perspective of the rest of nature, this has been, you know, finally, finally a big, big opportunity to breathe and relax and slow down a bit. I feel very sorry for all the people that suffer, all the families that have losses. Um, it's a pain that I can really feel strongly because I can see the same pain when I'm in the forest, which many maybe not be able to understand that I can feel the same or that it's possible to feel the same pain for, um, I don't know, um, an eagle owl that doesn't have a home anymore and is dying because of that or um, for the many birds and and other uh, also hair for example like who doesn't have snow enough to dig in and find shelter from the cold so like the suffering is not only ours and corona is just one symptom climate change is another one inequality and wars is another one uh, mass extinction is another one and at the root of the problem that's you and me and our challenge to make a split second decision to change things for good and not go back to the old story this old illusion this suicide bubble a status quo that didn't work a system where we taught our children how to survive in a system that doesn't work itself. So it's either something new or it's all going to get worse. It's If we go back, if we try to go back, if we want to hold on to money, things will go worse. That's, that's for sure. And they are already pretty bad. But yeah. Great opportunity, and we should use it. So, a um, little update about this time on the marketplace or in the Freedom Park in front of the town hall. I was there um, four days and got uh, negative test results and then ended there. Uh, lots of good feedback. And uh, yesterday a journalist visited here so maybe there might be a newspaper article about the Nomad Town and the concept of the resilience hubs. Um, something that we really, really need. We need resilience hubs all over the world in, in numbers that we maybe not be able to imagine. Um, but yeah, that's luckily it's something that it's it's a hundred percent do it yourself project, so and good community building tool. Yep, that's it. Short update from the Europe, and I'm gonna go back outside because it's so beautiful out there and so much to do and so much to see. Bye bye.